we're here with Chef Larry from Simply Gourmet Caterers. Thank you. And you have some of my favorite things here, tomatoes, something fried, something cheesy, some herbs. Oh, that one used to be. Yeah, <laughs> tell me what we're doing. Cheesy and herbs. First, we're going to make uh, some fried green tomatoes. Perfect. It's going to be a fried green tomato caprese salad mm. with mozzarella cheese. You could serve the fried green tomatoes hot, too, and yes. then you get hot and cold. Yes. But let's spice these up real lightly, a little salt. Okay, all of them. Yeah, very good. And a little bit of uh, pepper. Now it's blackening spice. The higher up you do it, the more even the spread. Oh. So just go ahead and a little bit more of that blackening spice. This. Yeah. And then oh, why don't there. we go ahead and dip that into the flour. Okay. And both sides. Both sides. Yeah. And then into the yes, egg. Yes, sir. This salad is also, it's great with the mozzarella cheese, but I got to tell you, blue cheese and a fried hot green tomato. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That sounds Ooh. Awesome. Shame on me. Good. Shame on me. <laughs> Here we go. And I'll grab that from you. Go ahead, pass them on down. Oh, we got okay, frying okay. to do. Keep going, Keep going, girl. I'm going to make this. Oh, no, it's perfect. Because you don't want the heat to be too high. And I'm you don't want to okay. submerge it? I'm no. your oil there. Half, half and half. Oops, you could little. submerge it, That's but there's no need to waste the oil at yeah, home. And we no, just give it a flip. It okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, and that's the most important thing. How long does it take when you on each side? You know, not too long. Just until they turn brown, and then we're jamming. But they are a very firm. You could feel how firm these are. Are we these just regular too. breadcrumbs? Like they're not, these aren't panko or anything? No, like the okay. regular breadcrumb, no spice in them because the spice is already on the tomato. Mm -hmm. But they're really a firm, firm tomato. So mm -hmm. you got to cook them a little bit. You know, they remind me a little bit keep of a okra. Keep I know. I'm oh, okay. 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 You know, <laughs> so they get mushy and they, yummy yes. when they're Final fried. They really do. Yeah. Hey, what doesn't? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chef, yeah. I have a question about your red tomatoes because tomatoes can frustrate us this time oh, of year yeah, in yeah, Florida. Yeah. Do you sure. have a recommendation for the type to buy if we're making caprese? You know, I really like using a large, what we call a five by six tomato, because that's how many fit in a flat like that. Okay. But you know what's great to do? Cut up the, um, the mozzarella into quarter slices, and then oh. use those baby tomatoes that, that are, are all softer. different colors, yeah, that, that are softer. Idea. Otherwise, just always let tomatoes hang out at room temperature. Okay. The, the enemy of a tomato the is the refrigerator. The refrigerator. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for sure. That. And then we just look, just a regular vegetable oil. Don't try using olive oil because if you do, you're in trouble. Oh, That's a very low smoke point, you know. Okay. And these are going to fry. Oh, yeah. uh, look at that. See, they're getting there. But let me show you how we're going to put these together. I already have a couple of fried ones, okay. but I'd like to show you. Yep. So we do a fried tomato. Mm -hmm. And then we got a beautiful gold tomato. Don't they sound better when you say gold instead gold of yellow? Tomato, That's yes. it. And then a beautiful piece rouge, of buffalo. Rouge, tomato. rouge, rouge. Oh. Buffalo mozzarella, which is so, so tender good. and light and lovely. That looks beautiful. And then another yellow. And there we are. But let's put. You know what? This looks oh, a little looks naked so to me. Good. Why don't we put a couple of more slices of the mozzarella cheese, cheese in there? I mean. And then the dressing on this is a lot like a lot of my dressings that I do on almost everything. Very, very light. A little salt, like so. Perfect. See how high up you went, Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> and a little We're pepper. And then basil. But oh, you know what? Are we going to flip these puppies? I can do it. Oh, excellent. Wow, well, that take it over. You've got a job. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. <laughs> Show up, 6 o'clock. But then I just like, you can, you can rip this up. Just put it on top like that. I love basil. And then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That's beautiful. And oh, that's wow. all it takes. You don't want to use much more than that. And you know what? It's I, so easy. You dress it right at the last minute because otherwise that mozzarella cheese starts rendering its juice. And then you've mm. got a rubbery mozzarella yeah, cheese. Yeah, I have no problem. All right, we're learning all sorts of good exactly. tips from salads with Chef Larry. Don't forget other great summer ideas. A watermelon feta with cucumbers. So easy to make. And berries on greens look absolutely wonderful this Thanks time so of year. Much. So we are excited to dig into Yay. the fried green yeah. tomato caprese. Definitely a good summertime treat. So, Candace, Excellent. Megan, thanks Please. for Thank joining you. us. Thanks you guys did all the work, and we have the food and the forks. So uh -huh. now you can bring it up right away. We're digging That's in. Great. It's great to see everybody. Be sure to take Thank some time you. and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Bye. Bye.